<clears throat> Mr. Dida, it is quite certain that you've made some deep studies into the Bible. And now any casual reader of the Bible will know, as you will admit, that the Holy Spirit is spoken of as being present on the earth since creation. In Genesis already, the Spirit of God moved upon the deep. But Jesus spoke of a the Holy Spirit coming in a different way. As a, one of the former questions was, was, was confused, you see, because it is quite easy to become confused with this vast crowd. You must be quite at home with the crowd like this, but you know, uh, and, and, and we're not trained for these things. No, so what give is, me... Well, what is the question? The question is this, Mr. Dida, do you admit that the Holy Spirit was on earth? You proved that, in fact, all before Christ, right from creation, when Jesus spoke of His coming, of the promised Comforter, surely He spoke of the Holy Spirit as coming in a different way. Because formerly, the Holy Spirit abided with them, but now He would live inside of them eternally. It could not be Muhammad as you, or, or, or the Quran, the teachings of Muhammad, because it speaks of a person, a He. Muhammad is not with us now. So you, you answered the, a former questioner by saying that the teachings of Muhammad has been with us all these years, but the comforter is not the teachings of Muhammad. The comforter according to you is Muhammad. Now the Bible says, Jesus said, this comforter abides with us eternally. Which means you are trying to tell us Muhammad is here with us now and abides with us all through. Thank you. If you read the scriptures once more again, your Gospel of St. Luke, you will read there about Lazarus or Dykes. You know that there was a fellow simmering in hell and he wanted Abraham to send somebody to dip his finger in the water and put it in his mouth. So he said, now look, between you and us there is a barrier which we can't cover. So the man made a request, the one in hell, he said, allow me to go back and warn my brethren about the punishment that is awaiting them here if they don't mend their ways. So the answer that was given to them, that they have Moses and the prophets. Do you remember that verse? Have you heard that verse before? That they have Moses and the prophets. Is Moses here with us today? But that's what the Bible says, that they have Moses and the prophets. So Moses and the prophets, what it means is this, that in their teaching Moses is with you. The prophets are with you in their teachings. Likewise, in an identical manner, Muhammad is with us in his teaching. You don't have to be physically present. Jesus is with us in his teaching. The words which he gave, they are with us. So he is with us. Moses, the teaching he gave, the Ten Commandments, they are with us. Moses is with us. So it is not a physical with and not with. It is the teaching that they are talking about. That in the teaching, Moses is with us. In the teaching, Jesus is with us. In the teaching, Muhammad is with us. And Muhammad's teachings are going to abide forever. And Jesus told you, and I kept on repeating, that he says, if I go not away, the Comforter will not come. But if I go, I will send him. In other words, he was not talking about the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost was helping him in his ministry, helping the disciples in the ministry. And as you said, from the beginning of creation, the Holy Spirit was with everybody. So he was not talking about that. He is talking about somebody who will guide you into all truth, solve all your problems. And for 40 years I have been asking learned men of Christendom, including your good self, I only want one new thing. One new thing that the Holy Ghost gave you in 2000 years, which Jesus Christ could not have given you because of your hard-headedness. Brother, uh, thank you very much. Could I put it to you this way? There are Besides yourself, there are one, two, three, four, five, six people standing. Yeah. But oh. you see, it is very misleading if someone puts a question and Mr. Didat gives his any answer he can give and the people will accept it because I can't tell him now, but that is wrong. He can give any answer, 
anything he can say. But because I must get off now, it means everybody will go away with his answers. So the questioning is even more dangerous than the lecture. 